Yes, so sign and welcome to project 63 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating this password strength project by just using html css and javascript so now whenever i type something inside this password so it will now just remove this blurriness okay so if i just type like uh, i don't know like uh, my name like h u x n w e b d e v so it will now just remove that blurriness from their background and now if i just remove all of this password so here you can see it will give us our blurness back okay so this is what we are going to be building by just using html css and javascript so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our code and write our code to do that first of all let me just create a folder give a name of like 063 password string background or bg would be fine or bg like that would be fine okay so now inside this folder we are going to be creating three files the first one will be index.html the second one will be just style.css and then the third one will be just like app dot app dot js for javascript now let me just make it a bit bigger and now let's just focus on a doc type html so i'm going to change the title to be like password strength um background now let's just link it with our css and also with our javascript as well now let me just hide this metadata from there right click on it and open with live server so now we are live the next thing which you have to do is to just uh, first of all create a div with the class of background image and inside that we are not going to be writing nothing then let's just create our container and inside this container let's just create an input with a type of text and id will be email and yeah email will be fine and then we have a placeholder and you know what i'm going to also change this text to be email okay so that's that now let's just write like enter email and now let's just create another input with a uh, type of password and now let's just provide the id of password as well and now let's just write a placeholder of enter password okay and now let's just write a button with the type of submit and once we save it so it will not show up our button because we didn't provide a label to it so now let's just save it so now here you can see we have this two inputs right here and this button so we are now good to go to go to our style sheet and now let's just style our side a bit so the first thing i would do is i'll select everything and remove that margin padding and box sizing of border box and font family will be sent serif and you can choose whichever kind of font family you like then i'll just jump to my body and then pour a display of flex on it flex direction will be column and then now let's just write justify corner will be center line items will also be center and uh, because we want everything to be totally center and now let's just write overflow of hidden and margin will be just like margin zero seven and this is how it looks like right here okay so now let's just first of all style our container so now let me get my container in here and inside this container we're going to be exporting a width of 40 percent and also the height will be 40 percent we have a background of 1c c 1c and 1c one more time then display will be totally flex justify corner will be center and then align items will also be center and flex direction will be column seven and this is how it looks like right now so now let's just get our input box and now let's just tell that a bit so we have this container inside this container we have these two inputs so now let's just first of all select our container and then our inputs first of all i'm going to just give a padding of 10 pixels for top and bottom and left and right will be 20 border uh not border but margin bottom will be just like 20 pixel and width will also be like uh let me just write edit in there and outline will be come on outline will be totally non severed and this is how it looks like right here now the next thing that you have to do is to get this button right here okay which is inside this container so now let's just get our button let me add a padding of top um top and bottom will be 10 pixel and left and right will be 20 border will be just none because we want to remove that border now let's just write our background color and also remove that and now let's just pour a new background color of crimson okay and now let's just pour a width of like 150 pixel and also color will be totally white cursor will be pointer seven and this is how it looks like right now okay so that's that now the final thing which you have to do is to get our background image container and provide a background image to it okay let me just write my background and image and now let's just write a url inside and here double quotes and now i've already select this image and if you have your own images so feel free to select that and by the way if you need this image so then just go to my github repository 
or I'll also um, put the link of this image in this video description. There we go. Kind of lost my mind. All right, so then we have to just write a background of repeat and no repeat. And then we have a background position of center. And then finally, let's just write like background size of cover and then position will be totally absolute. And now let's just put a top in there. So it will be minus 20 pixel duplicate a few times. Now let's just change this one to bottom. So we have top and bottom and we have a left and then right. And finally, we have a Z index and it will be set to minus one pixel or not a pixel, but just minus one would be fine. Now let's just remove them. Come on, what the hell? Let me just remove this inherit from there as well. And now let's just pour it finally or filter. It will be now blur 20 pixel. Save it. And this is how it looks like right now. So if you just remove this uh, blur from there and save it. So here you can see that blurriness is gone. But we want this blurriness right here. We want to change this blurriness inside this app.js file. So for JavaScript, I'm going to get a few things. So the first thing I would just get is my password, which will be document.get element by ID and then my password. And now let me just show you that really quickly. So here we go. Okay. So now the next thing which you have to do is to get or BG for background. And now let's just write like query selector of that background image. Save it. Now the next thing which you have to do is to just get or password and even listener on it. And now if we type something in their input, so we want to call this function. Come on, I can't see that. What the hell? Let's remove that. All right, so now let's just write our arrow function in there. And now let's just first of all get our target value. So now input, and it will be now equals to e dot target dot whatever someone just write inside there. Now let's just get our length. So we are going to be just writing our length, and it will be now set to input dot length. Okay, so now let's just put our blurness, which we set here, right here. Okay, so now let's just get our blurness, and it will be now set to 20 minus the length which we get right here, like we are just rendering this variable right here and times two. Okay, so that's that. Now let's just change the style of our background. Come on, uh, style and then filter. We are now using this property right here. And now let's just change the value of it to this blur. And then now let's just render or blurness in there and pixels. Okay, so once we save our file, now if I start to type something in here like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I, J. All right, so here you can see that blurriness is totally gone. Okay, so this is kind of a simple project for your UI and it can affect a lot for your UI. So let me just type something like, uh, I don't know my name, like Hussein, and then web dev. Come on, Hussein, web dev. All right, so everything is working the way we expect him to work. And we will just leave this <laughs> email box for, for now because it doesn't do anything. If you want to provide this same uh, input, so you can also provide there for uh, email, but I guess that's not going to be like an issue for you to do that by yourself. Anyway, so now it's working and now we are happy with that. And I guess that will be it for now. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.